Hi darlings, it's Robin here. Welcome to your daily tarot card reading for Monday, April 10th. I'm using the Gilded Tarot today because I've got the Witch's Tarot in a timeout. It's recharging under a <laughs> amethyst, a pink amethyst crystal because I was having a really hard time reading it. So anyway, got the pinch hitter in here. I hope you guys enjoy this general tarot card reading. Let me just shuffle this, this deck one more time and I'll start pulling cards, okay? Being guided to do a deck cut. Okay. So I'm getting a really strong sense of, for some reason, with the Ace of Cups, Archangel Gabriel today. Okay, so Archangel Gabriel, I'm not even sure if he is the Archangel that is related to water, but I am getting this. There could be a, a message coming in for you from spirit. Okay, so when you think of that, it could be one of your guides on the other side or one of your ancestors. So if you're starting to hear some whispers from the heavens, you definitely want to pay attention. This is going to be especially meaningful for those of you that had somebody pass away that maybe you didn't get the opportunity to see them you know, before they pass to the other side of the veil or you didn't get to say that specific whatever that you needed to say to get off your chest to apologize or confess or whatever um, because Archangel Gabriel is the messenger angel, okay? Um, and he does guide people to the afterlife once they pass. So this could be very, very intense, okay? So you could really feel a very electric presence. I, I want you to take a deep breath if that starts to happen or you could be sitting in a room and you could feel like it's starting to get smaller if that makes sense okay so just know that this is going to be Archangel Gabriel or someone on his team coming in to give you a message from somebody on the other side of the veil and this is not for the faint of heart so do some box breathing if you want to that means like breathing in for four holding it for four releasing it for, you know releasing for four holding for four and repeating okay so you could also ask who is there archangel gabriel is very 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 comforting um you know he helped me through a very very difficult time so you could actually be getting a message from somebody on the other side that is a fire sign okay you have the page of wands uh this is going to be somebody that is an aries leo or sagittarius and they had some final words for you too uh, they might want to release you from a promise oh very interesting i'm getting a message that they could have some information about if you feel like you have a curse or some sort of an obligation you're going to be released from something that has been holding you back or making you feel horrible or you know what I mean? So the page of wands and this person has probably been trying to get hold of you on their own, but they're like, oh, they, they can't bridge the gap between, you know, spirit and human. So they're enlisting Archangel Gabriel to come in and convey that message. So this is going to be a rocker. Okay. <laughs> You could have been having dreams about this person and just kind of, oh, that's nice, but not really reading into it too much because it's not easy to deal with the fact that somebody is no longer among the living. So your brain could be shying away from it, but there's no mistaking the energy of angels, especially an archangel. Okay, so get ready for that. And oh, this is so nice. We've got the lover's card here. So we definitely have somebody on the other side. Again, I'm I'm definitely getting the sense that it is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And they just want to hold you up and support you with so much love. Um, for those of you that maybe lost a partner or a spouse, they could be trying to communicate to you. So I would really encourage you to maybe get an Archangel Gabriel meditation or just you know, sit down and, and focus on and ask Archangel Gabriel, do you have any messages from me from departed loved ones? And like, get ready to hear a message, okay? Make sure that you're going to be strong enough to support the energy that is coming in. Because I do see that you are going to be released from some sort of, I don't know, like I said before, a curse or uh, like a, a family bond or something like that. Maybe some sort of vow that you made on a deathbed, something. Okay, so it's going to be a big one. 
All right, guys, I'm going to bounce and I'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.